Hello and welcome to another filament testing video and this time from the Polymaker. This is uh, Polylite PLA Pro and this is Polylite PLA CF, the carbon fiber version. I got several comments that uh, you don't want to see any more PLA filament testing for the mechanical parts but I'm curious about this one, especially the CF because if I will find a great uh, PLA carbon fiber version, in that case I will do the annealing with that filament and with this we will get the strength of the PLA, but also after the annealing it will have a higher temperature resistance. The main problem of annealing regular PLA is that it will deform, shrink and it is not usable if you need a bigger accuracy. And carbon fibers may help in this. I didn't test it with the PLA yet, but I have some experience with the polycarbonate, so the carbon fiber region is great and I could do annealing without any significant deformation. The PLA Pro is in red color, the print temperature between 190 and 220 degrees Celsius. The carbon fiber is black and print temperature between 190 and 230 degrees Celsius. Now in both cases the maximum recommended print speed is 70 mm per second and I calculate this means 5.6 cubic millimeters per second is the max flow rate which is quite low value. I think I will try this on 10 cubic millimeters per second. Everything will be printed on X1 carbon bevel printer. Same information as we can see on the spool. I really like this scale, so approximately we can see how much filament we have on the spool. And also one of the rare companies which plays the weight of the anti spool, 140 grams. I will open them one by one before the printing because I don't want to dry them. And I'm starting with the PLA Pro. Don't open from this side because it is bigger. This side is resealable and we have to cut it above the ceiling line. And actually we have the Polymaker Polylight PLA in the filament list. Nice. These are my test objects in the Bamboo Studio. And let's check the settings for this filament. 220 degrees Celsius on the nozzle. And I changed the flow rate to 12 cubic millimeters per second. And 20 volts, so this means they are solid inside. The printing is at 45%. And this is how those 12 cubic millimeters per second looks like. This is a time-lapse video and actually here I noticed small warping on one object and that's for the impact test, but science in the middle it is okay, it will not affect the testing. And now the carbon fiber version and same thing, don't open from this side. I'm not sure is it so big problem in the manufacturing to make this side bigger compared to this side because here we have the ceiling line. end of the filament is glued. Immediately I want to check how brittle is this material. Yes, very brittle. I check under the microscope the cross-section of the filament and I cannot really measure but I can clearly see that these fibers are smaller compared to those which I tested recently earlier on this channel. I'm not sure if it's good or bad, I mean probably smaller chance of the clogging, but I'm not sure will it help, we will see after these mechanical testings. PLSCF is not in the list, so I use the generic version. PLSCF, I will check the settings in the slicer, and it's in black color. Load. Again in a bamboo studio, and when I checked the settings for this filament, I decided to change the temperature to 230 degrees Celsius, but I changed it only on initial layer. And I noticed this only later. This mostly affects the layer adhesion, so for this test I will have another test object too, printed on 230 degrees Celsius. It's hard to see on the black color, but the start is good. Well actually it is now on 25%. Last object for the layer adhesion test. Really nice surface we get with this filament because those carbon fibers hide those layer lines. Ready for mechanical testing and this time they are in the same box because I'm not afraid that I will mix them. And these are printed on 230 degrees Celsius, they are marked. The 10 cellular pulling test with horizontally printed objects and I'm starting with PLA Pro. Average 56.6 kilograms. And the carbon fiber version only 31.4 kilograms. An interesting, very similar break in both cases. And now the layer attention test with vertically printed objects. 
this is PLA Pro and actually this is very strong value and now the carbon fiber version printed at 220 degrees Celsius this is quite weak number and let's see if 230 degrees Celsius will help but not much so this carbon fiber looks nice but it has weaker layer adhesion and now the shell stress here you can see both tests side by side and a little bit stronger is the PLA Pro shared correctly in three pieces the torque or twist test the diameter is 6 mm and I'm measuring the load at 90 degree angle and the maximum load and here the carbon fiber version broke only after half turns and it was much weaker again this is how they look like after this test and our three point bending test here you can see my equipment and I place these loads one by one and I measure the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds again side by side and pay attention 10 kilograms uh, continues deforming on the carbon fiber version and also I can see more permanent deformation on the version with carbon fibers the creep test the deformation under the constant load which will be 1.25 kilograms I'm locking the position for more accurate measuring on PLA Pro 15.34 millimeters and this is the carbon fiber version 15.19 this means more deformation on PLA Pro I measure them every day this is the fifth one locking the position again for more accurate measuring 21.79 on PLA Pro and CF 21.30 so this means a little bit more deformation on PLA Pro and also I can see slightly less permanent deformation on the CF version the iso deeper test and let's see if the carbon fibers help in toughness of this material PLA Pro oh zero position carbon fiber PLA Pro broke completely only after the hammer swung back and these are the edge position of the hammer and from difference in height I can calculate the breaking energy the temperature test in the oven and in every case I tested so far the carbon fibers always helps in this kind of test and uh, no surprises here with the PLA Pro it started to deform at approximately 50 degrees Celsius and the carbon fiber at approximately 60 degrees Celsius and after this I stopped the experiment and I noticed that the carbon fiber is less flexible on this temperature currently but also I noticed quite big shrinking with the PLA Pro I usually experience this only with ABS filaments and now let's analyze the results which you can download from mytechfun.com website and for my Patreon supporters I'm adding this data to that summary table so they can compare very easily with those values from the previous videos let's start with the creep test so this is the table with directly measured values but what we need is actually the difference between two days and that's what we can see on this table or on this graph and we can see that the creeping is significantly reduced after one day but even then on the fifth day this is quite big value take a look between 0 0.5 and 1 millimeters on tensile pulling test uh, the carbon fiber was very weak uh, PLA Pro uh, usually with PLA I am getting very close to the 100 kilograms so this is a little bit weaker value but look at this layer adhesion test this is actually quite strong <laughs> and uh, with uh, PLA Pro basically we don't have the weak axis the carbon fiber version was very weak even if I raised the printing temperature but this is not acceptable from my side everything below 20 kilograms especially for the PLA is not good enough for me on the shear stress well I thought that carbon fibers will help in this case but uh, no again the carbon fiber version was weaker compared to the PLA Pro on the three point bending test um, this is only the deformation after 30 seconds um, let's jump uh, I think this is more interesting because here we can see the deformation after 1 30 and 60 seconds and interesting until the load was uh, approximately 5 kilograms or, or smaller it was very equal but on 10 kilograms look at this the PLA Pro was stronger but the carbon fiber not only that it was weaker but uh, very big creeping because this is under some angle 
On a torque or twist test, um, well, the PLA Pro was much better in this test, uh, but also the carbon fiber was very brittle, it broke after only half turns. On ISOD impact test, um, actually this is quite good value even for the carbon fiber version, but this was very very good, the PLA Pro performed great on this impact test. And on a temperature test, and actually this is the only test where the carbon fiber version was better compared to the PLA Pro. But don't forget this is only 15 minute test, so I don't recommend to use on this temperature. And now quickly the conclusions. I can see only two advantages of the carbon fiber version compared to the PLA Pro. One of them is the temperature resistance, and the other is actually the printability. Well, only on the one test object I could see some minimal warping with PLA Pro, but the CF was perfectly straight. Now, don't forget that uh, I was printing these materials on more than two times bigger speed than recommended, or flow rate. Instead of 5.6, I printed them on 12 cubic millimeters per second. I'm not sure how big effect this has on these materials because 90% of my testings I did on slower printers on Prusa Mark III or Ender 3 S1 and similar, and only recently I started with using these fast Corex 5 printers. Now, the PLA Pro reminds me a little bit on Polymaker's PLA Max filament with a little bit weaker tensile strength but better impact resistance. Still my favorite material from the Polymaker is their nylon filament, especially the PA6. I can see that they have now PA612 CF material and I'm curious how it performs. I hope I will get a spool for the testings because I want to print it on faster printer and also I want to do annealing with it uh, because I got several suggestions from you from viewers to anneal the nylon because that will improve the strength and also reduce the creeping. I hope you will follow me to that video too. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell button because my videos from some reason in most cases are not suggested. Anyway, thank you for watching and happy printing.